Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to estimate dynamic regression models. And previously, I talked about how to include other relevant information in the Eleva models by including this x factor in the model. And we can forecast yt based on xt and uh, capture the time series dynamics in this uh, eta t term. Before estimating and uh, fitting uh, this uh, Rima x models and forecast, we have to make sure that all of our variables are stationary to begin with. That is, we have to make sure that our yt variable is stationary and all of the covariates, that is these xt variables that we are including in our model, are stationary. And uh, if those are stationary, we can go ahead and uh, fit the model in this form and capture the time series dynamics uh, in eta t. And if any of the y or x variable is not stationary, we need to take the difference of uh, that uh, data to make it uh, stationary before uh, fitting uh, the model. And after we fit the model, because we have uh, two equations, we have to work with uh, these two equations uh, separately. We'll forecast the ARIMA part of the model by forecasting this uh, eta t. And then we also have to forecast uh, this regression part of uh, the model. And remember to forecast yt based on this xt variable, we need uh, future values of uh, this uh, xt variable. In some cases, future values of xt variables uh, will be known in advance. For example, if uh, we want to include the day of the week, uh, some holidays or special occasions, uh, the values of uh, those xt variables uh, will be known in advance. But in many cases, as in the case of uh, the regression uh, model, we may not know the future values of xt variables uh, in advance. We can use the benchmark methods to forecast uh, xt variables and then use those forecasts uh, to forecast uh, this yt variable. Otherwise, we can uh, build a scenario and assume uh, xt values and, and then use uh, those uh, scenario-based values to forecast yt variable. And again, before doing anything, you have to make sure that all of your variables are stationary, your yt variable is stationary and xt variable is stationary. You can fit the model and then forecast uh, the ARIMA part and the regression part uh, separately. And uh, for the regression part, you need uh, future xt values and you can either use the benchmark methods or use uh, scenario-based forecasts to forecast these xt values first and then use those uh, xt values to forecast our variable of interest uh, yt. In the next video, I'll show you an example of uh, dynamic regression or ARIMA x models in R. Alright, bye-bye.